It's a make or break in the protracted Bushiri extradition on Friday. Malawi's Director of Public Prosecutions, Dr. Steve Kayuni, says his office is confident that resident magistrate Patrick Chewa will agree that South African witnesses will testify in South African courts when the magistrate court in Malawi meets on Friday, the 17th of June 2022. Speaking in an interview with South Africa's Daily Maverick news outlet, he said High Court Judge Redson Kapindu had given the magistrate court two options, one of which was for witnesses to testify in South African courts. Dr. Kayuni stated that the South African government should be instructed to have its courts record the evidence of witnesses who will be testifying in the case. Malawi's Director of Public Prosecution said although Judge Kapindu had given Magistrate Patrick Chewa two options, he had doubt on the security and reliability of witnesses testifying via video link. There can be tampering. You wouldn't know if the witness is being coached on the other side, all that kind of thing. The courts in Malawi need to observe the witnesses." Unquote. He noted that if witnesses were to give testimony in South Africa, Shepard Bushiri will be entitled to appoint South African lawyers to appear in South African courts to cross-examine the witnesses. He added that South African National Prosecuting Authority could lead the witnesses in the South African courts as Malawi Prosecuting Authority did not have the right to appear in South African courts. However, Shepard Bushiri's lawyer Wapona Kita insists that South African witnesses should appear physically in court in Malawi rather than give testimony in a South African court or by video conferencing. It is recalled that in his ruling five months ago, High Court Judge Redson Kapindu directed Magistrate Patrick Chewa to consider alternatives such as hearing the South African witnesses via video conferencing or enabling the witnesses to make dispositions in South Africa. In March this year, some of the witnesses had raised security concerns about going to testify, for which reason they intended to desist from testifying in the case. And what it is right now is that they had actually told me um, um, that they would not be heading uh, to Malawi because they said that they, you know, they fear um, they, they, their safety might be in jeopardy. Me and my husband were tired of this. So sometimes we're thinking of withdrawing the case because the case is not going anywhere. I don't think it, it will happen and, or it will ever happen. Because the, this uh, issue happened here in South Africa, so how can we just follow Bushir wherever he is and then while he has to be here and face um, his charges? We are not protected because the Bushir is, is a dangerous man. I don't want to lie. He, he is very dangerous. The protracted extradition case enters its 18th month and on Friday the case will present a new twist to the tale.